Hey guys, it's Wanda from Crazy Days, and today I'm at the She Shed. I'm going to show you something that could be a game changer for small gardeners, whether you're in an apartment or just have a small garage or a backyard and patio, whatever. I'm going to show you what's a game changer. The wind's blowing, so I'm doing a little bit of intro here. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Look at this. This is my green stalk planter. Isn't that beautiful? I moved it to this part because we have some cold weather coming and I don't want to stun my leaves. I usually keep it over there in that sunny spot, but it's going to get cold down in the 30s, maybe high 30s, for a two to three nights. <laughs> potatoes will take that. This is fingerling potatoes. Now I've got one here and I've looked. It's still, let me show you. I dug it up because I was worried. All the others came up but this one. But look at here. It's trying. So it's okay. I'd already messed with it. Wondering why it's not working. But it's coming up. It may be a little later. But what do you think? Isn't that awesome? If I can grow fingerling potatoes in a green stalk. If there's seven trays with six pockets. I put one potato in each one. That's 42 potatoes. If I can make a few pounds potatoes, this is a game changer, guys. Huge, huge game changer for you guys that have small apartments. Y'all see that? That's our potatoes down in the field. They're doing great. One section hasn't come up yet, but that was our deep south potatoes that we had just dug. We're, we just turned right around and replanted them. We checked them. They're still good. They're still out there. And look, I don't know if you can see it, but the onions are looking awesome too. And then we have potatoes in the back and everywhere. But, guys, the green stalk could be a game changer. If you can grow that many potatoes in a green stalk, isn't that awesome? You know, these are my other green stalks. Now, I've pulled most of the radishes and stuff out. I've got empty spots. My blue roses seem to be doing okay here, but up here they died, and I look, there's no rooting, so I don't know if I'll ever have a blue rose. The shard is doing awesome. Look at the strawberries. All the strawberries. The back one, the strawberries, is doing really great. The lettuce does good. But I'm fixing to take these, and I'm going to take them apart, add more dirt, and we're going to put some beans in these. So, guys, if you have a small area and you just want to grow a few things, you can get some green stalks, or you can take containers. Sometimes container garden will do just as well, but I like my green stalks. It's confined. It's in an area. It looks nice, but you can take that grow something just try anything it's a game changer to grow in containers when you don't have anything else i'm not saying you have to buy a green stalk but they do make it look nice for hoas things like that they do make it um easy to water all the amenities have been thought out it's a usa company and y'all they're a fun company to work with they sent me the green stalks to try about three years ago, the first one. Last year, I got a second one for the cabin, and it's in my, it's the one with the strawberries. Now, I had to bring it for the winter time to protect it. And then they sent me the leaf one with the potatoes in it, oh, just a, two, two months ago, maybe. And they're doing great. I love them. I, I, this is about my third year growing in a green stalk. You can get green stalks in two sizes the regular and the leaf. The pockets on the leaf are smaller than the regular pockets, they're deeper. So it's according to what you're planting if you need deep roots or shallow roots. Um, they also have the bases, they have two different types of bases. One will just spin around so you can get sun on all sides. One of them is a roller base that you can roll it from spot to spot. That's what my potatoes is on a roller base so I can move it. Um, they also have the supports for anything that's tall, you can get the supports, and they have a lot of netting and things like that for bugs and things that you don't want on your plants. Now, sometimes the bugs you need are um, beneficial because you got to have pollination, 
but there are some that you need netting for. So they carry everything. But if you don't have the money for green stalks, always remember buckets, pails, uh, landscape pots, whatever you can find. Somebody's just to throw away a bunch of landscape pots and say, hey, look, I want them. Danny and I grow a lot of things in landscape pots. So game changer, grow in pots if at all possible. My green stalk makes it excellent for me. And Danny and I are just about trying all varieties, all kinds of things, because we get people asking all the time, you grow so much in the fields. What about us small gardeners? You guys in apartments, HOAs, whatever, these green stalks will fit in the landscape and look nice. And nobody knows it's potatoes or petunias, except maybe you. So game changer, grow something. We'll talk to you later. Thank you from Crazy Days.